Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're having a great day, better than Cincinnati and maybe Oklahoma. Let me explain, okay? Well, the college football playoff rankings finally came out on Tuesday night, the first round, and they juggle them a little bit. Gene Taylor, K-State Athletics Director, is on the committee. I, Gene, I don't know what you guys are thinking. I would love to be in that room to hear the justifications that a team that has lost games, or game in this case, a game, should be ranked above an undefeated team that has also played a competitive schedule. Let me read you the top 10 of the college football rankings that came out on November 2nd. Number one is Georgia, easy choice. Number two is Alabama, 7-1. and one. Michigan State is third at 8-0. Oh. Oregon is fourth at 7-1. and one. Ohio State is fifth at seven and one. Cincinnati, which has a win at Notre Dame, by the way, at Notre Dame is eight and zero. Michigan is seven and one. Oklahoma is nine and zero at number eight. Wake Forest is eight and zero at number nine, and Notre Dame is seven and one at ten. Oklahoma State, by the way, is eleven. Baylor's twelve. So there's some Big Twelve representation in there beyond Oklahoma. You have two one-loss teams into this playoff ahead of a team that's unbeaten in a Power 5, Oklahoma, and is a really good team. Look, Wake Forest is a bit of an anomaly. They can still play their way in, but i got to see a little bit more from the Demon Deacons. I don't think they're that great, but they probably deserve more respect. Cincinnati's 8-0. Like I mentioned, they've got a win in a really nice road venue, and yet they're behind teams that lost. So how do you arrive at having Ohio State 5 and Oregon 4? Well, Oregon has to be 4 because they beat Ohio State. Right? I mean, Ohio State. The committee has always got to get Ohio State in somehow, some way. It's Ohio State. That win is like a super win. Uh, you know, uh, like a win that can't be compared to anything else, apparently. Uh, apparently, it was such a good win for Oregon that they could lose to Stanford. They lost to Stanford, K-State fans. The same Stanford that your team kicked the crap out of to start the season. They have a loss to Stanford, which I think we can all agree isn't a great team. And they're fourth, which gives the committee cover to put Ohio State in at fifth because their only loss is to Oregon, the fourth best team. I can't make sense of it. More football to be played. More griping to be had. I look forward to it. But for now, Cincinnati and Oklahoma... You're unbeaten, but not good enough. Sorry.